Hello again, it's Andy from the University of the West of England Eye Clinic in Bristol. We're going to talk about for symmetry practice. Um, you can see I've got a different set of glasses to video one. Um, I've got the scale zeroed in and calibrated at zero and that looks nice and sharp and clear. You can also see the axis scale visible there. So same routine as before, we're going to start by making the prescription scale go way up into the plus. I'm going to position the glasses on the facimeter there, get it approximately central and I'm going to wind the scale down towards the minus. Here we go. So you can see that that is that focuses up about there. So instead of focusing up to little dots you can see it's focused up to little dashes which means we're dealing with a toric lens. So you'll have a sphere, a sill and an axis for this prescription. If I get that in the center there, that looks pretty good. So looking at the scale, I think, oh gosh, it's between two, I think. Let's have a look. Let's call that minus 525. So right lens, minus 525. There's going to be a sill and an axis. And if I turn the axis here so that the two lines line up with the little dashes, there we are, that looks pretty good. If I read off the sill axis, that is 72 and a half. And I'm going to keep winding the power towards the minus end of the scale and that is minus 625. So we've gone from minus 525 to minus 625. The difference between those two readings is minus one. So we've got a prescription there of minus 525, minus one, axis 72 and a half. And again, you can see how I've laid the prescription out there. Anything other than that format is incorrect. So you will be marked down if you were doing a verification in the clinic if you wrote it in any other way. So I'm, I've got that nicely in the center of the image. I'm gonna just dot the centers there. And we're gonna swap over to the left lens. Again, try and get that approximately in the middle. That looks good. So again, starting way up in the plus end of the prescription scale there. I'm gonna wind it slowly down. Here we go. And that's gonna focus up about there. That looks pretty good. And oh, that's actually there we go. So, looking at that scale there, it's minus four two five. And I'll just leave space for the sill and the axis there. I've, I'm going to turn the axis until the two lines line up with that first reading there. And it's not super visible, but it's between the 110 and 120, so it's smack on 115 for the axis. And we've just got to then work out the sill power. So I'm gonna keep turning this towards the minus, and it's about there. Oh, again, it's between two. I think that's down to the way the webcam works with this. So the second reading I get is minus five. So to get from minus four two five to minus five is minus oh seven five. And that looks pretty clear. So I'm gonna just dot the centers again. That's pretty central. And then that's it. So hopefully you can see that that technique is relatively straightforward and quick and most importantly for the clinic accurate. Thank you very much indeed.